Hey, Dustin Craig here from Paradigm Shift Ministries, and this week it's time to take up your cross. Our passage for the week is Mark chapter 8, verses 34 to 38. And calling the crowd to him with his disciples, he said to them, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake and the the Gospels will save it. For what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his soul? For what can a man give in return for his soul? For whoever is ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him will the Son of Man be also ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Last few weeks all have been uh, tough words from Jesus that he used to call out his disciples and to call them to action. And for this week, taking up your cross and denying yourself, I think one of the best modern examples comes from the guy we're going to celebrate tomorrow, Martin Luther King Jr. Um, in his final speech, actually, one day, um, the night before his assassination, he, uh, he would break down the story of the Good Samaritan. And he would talk about how it was likely that the priest and the Levite were afraid of what would happen to them if they were to stop and help the man on the side of the road. Um, the Jericho Road is a dangerous road. Um, Dr. Kane in his speech lays out that it's, it's actually over a thousand foot drop um, in the short, short um, amount of space. So it was a dangerous winding road, very conducive to ambushes. And they were afraid maybe the robbers were still around, maybe this guy was faking, you know, what, what, would, what would happen to them if they stopped? But the Good Samaritan came around, and he was more concerned about what would happen to the man if he didn't stop. And, and, he, and he says, you know, this is the question before us tonight. And that is the question before you and me. We can't let fear rule our lives. We can't be too afraid of what will happen if we stop and take the time to do the things that God, God's calling us to do. We need to be afraid of what will happen if we don't act. If we don't do the things that God's calling us to do, if we don't reach out and mentor the next generation and reach them for Christ, if we don't step out in faith to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world, if we don't embrace everything that God is calling and calling us to do, then what's going to happen? What's going to happen to the next generation if we don't step in and mentor them and lead and guide them and help them to become the men and women God has called them to be? We need to deny ourselves and take up our cross, just like Dr. Cain, so that we can become truly who God created us to be, not just individually, but together as the church. Um, I just invite you to uh, join us on this journey. If you're in the Marion, Ohio area, I invite you to join us in person every Saturday night. Uh, we meet at 6.30 p.m. at the a local bed and breakfast. And if you're not in this area, I invite you to join us online at PrayGrowServe.com. It's a fully interactive uh, resource network. We actually just released our annual report. So if you're interested in knowing more about what we're doing, make sure you sign up for the site. Uh, read over our, our report from 2014, which is our first uh, year as a nonprofit. Um, some of our ministries go back 10 years, but it's an exciting new, new relaunch, new journey. Um, new community here in Marion. I'm just excited to see what God's happening. Uh, he is stirring people up. He is moving. Um, everything we've done in Erie and now in Marion, God is on the move. He's bringing a revival to this Rust Belt. I'm excited to be a part of it. I want you to be a part of it. So join us again online, PrayGrowServe.com. See you again next week.